Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. It is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we're going to get into your recent past, your current energy, and the near future, and then we'll clarify that and get some messages from the universe for you. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. If you're new, welcome. I do hope if you enjoy the messages, you'll consider subscribing. And if you would like a personal reading, that information's in the description box below or the about section of my channel. All right, so let's get into it and see what's going on for you guys. And this is also a timeless reading. I don't typically say that with uh, the other ones because they are time sensitive, if you will, but in general, whenever you get the message is when it's meant for you. Okay, let's see what your overall message is. So we have the five of wands coming out. Okay, so the next two weeks you could find things getting a little, I wanna say restless is the energy that I'm feeling. Things may seem a little bit combative. Interestingly, I just heard something with astrology that was saying that people might be a little bit difficult, especially tomorrow. So you may find yourself um, in a little bit of a, not necessarily fight mode, just needing to work some of the kinks out with situations in your life. So it could be around your relationships or even some work situations. Let's see what the recent past shows us. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups with the Magician in reverse, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So there could be a little bit of sadness for something that did not happen that you had hoped. Now, when we see the Five of Wands, that can be an indication also of some internal battles or that there was a fight for something that you wanted and sadly it didn't happen the way that you had expected. So if an opportunity does not happen the way we had hoped, usually that means that something better is on the way. So let's get to your current energy. We have the Four of Wands in reverse with the Five of Swords. Now, it's funny because I was thinking of this card when I was talking about the Five of Wands. The Five of Swords can be a little bit of a defensive energy, but what I will say is you will conquer whatever this is. If there's a situation in your home or you missed out on a home or something to do with partnerships and relationships where there was some fighting and you would hope that you could restart something, there's a possibility that that had to come to an end or something had to be worked out that hadn't yet. But you will no doubt conquer whatever this is for you. Underneath the Five of Swords, the Knight of Swords, which is great because whatever news is coming in, remember I said when one door closes, another door opens or a window opens, however you want to look at it, the Knight of Swords is saying something's coming in, some information. So once you conquer this, then you're going to get the message that you need. Let's see what that is. In the near future, we have the King of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So whatever, remember I said something didn't work out for a reason, but this message is going to give you the information as to why it didn't work out. Now, it looks like here there could have been somebody who was a little bit unstable, whether this is a partner or a boss or something of that sort, and they may come to you. I don't normally get apology from this energy, but it does feel like one, and I don't think you necessarily want to hear it. So whatever it, it was for you, because it's going to be so different for everyone. I just feel the energy coming towards you is asking you to maybe take a look at it. It's really more for your understanding than it is for anything else. You have definitely overcome some obstacles. Now with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it doesn't mean that something isn't working out. It just means that that couldn't because it was not going to take you in the direction that was best suited for you. So what's your challenge going to be? So we have the Ace of Swords. It's getting that clarity that you need to understand why. Why did this have to happen if it was a breakup especially? Um, not understanding maybe why the person did what they did. Now this could be you too. And it could be that you have some information or an explanation. Not necessarily. I typically want to pivot the uh, reading towards you. So it feels like somebody's going to be coming in to give you a message. And like I said, it could be an apology. Certainly this upset you in some way. But again, I want to say you're going to conquer it. So let's go ahead and, and clarify. That was a quick 
message there. Let's get more of the details here with this Five of Wands energy. Okay, so there's that Ace of Swords again, because there something was not clear to you. You didn't get the answer that you needed in the past about why this was happening, why this was so difficult. And then the High Priestess comes in. Mm, see, this is where Spirit says to you, it doesn't, mer mer doesn't matter if you have the clarity that you think you need. Your intuition has told you exactly what it needed to. So I would say trust it. Because if there's something that's run through your head and you think, okay, well, this is the reason I think this happened, trust it. Definitely trust it. They're asking you to really pay attention to that. The Six of Pentacles. Remember when I said things are going to balance out? If you were giving more of yourself, especially in a job situation, if there was something else that you were seeking, it didn't happen because you'd be in the same position, meaning you'd be giving too much and not getting as much in return. So they're trying to balance things out for you. In a relationship, it could be the same thing. Maybe you were more supportive than the other person and you needed things to balance out. Either way, that's what they're trying to do and trust your intuition around that because that's the reason that things didn't work out. Now, the Eight of Cups, that tells you you're walking away from any kind of emotional attachment. Even though it may have created some sadness in the past, here it's saying you're going to walk away and look into the horizon, into the moon, into the horizon and see beyond what those disappointments may have been and release some of that emotional energy that's connected to it. So with the Five of Cups and the Magician in Reverse, Judgment, ooh, that spirit's way of coming in and saying, um, we made a decision. So if for some reason you were hesitating or resisting some kind of change or feeling sadness around this, this is their clear message to you that it was for your protection. Now with the Magician in Reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in Reverse, we have the Queen of Pentacles. It would not have been something that was going to be very stable and or allowed you, if it were, let's say, a relationship that didn't work out, it wouldn't have allowed you to be an individual. You wouldn't have had your independence. Somebody would have either been smothering, codependent, or there would have been an issue in that where you couldn't have your autonomy, autonomy. So it's very specific about that. You, you definitely, I don't want to say you dodged a bullet, but it really did work out the way it was supposed to. So the Four of Wands with the Five of Swords we have the full. So once you've conquered all the feelings, the emotions, walked away from this, dealt with it, understood it, and trust that your intuition was guiding you in the right place, the full comes in to say, this is that time in which you should kind of celebrate and be a little bit more free and take some new chances. And when you do, maybe putting yourself out there in a new way, you find something new. If this was to do with any kind of home situation, take a chance. Maybe choose a different location. You'll get a message about this, and I think it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. But they want you to, he's actually looking like he's juggling in this card. And it's almost like they want you to throw things around and keep doing that until this comes in, until this message comes in. And then we have the Knight of Wands. So, they're saying it comes in and then you take the action that you need to take there. So that fiery kind of passionate energy that the Knight of Wands represents is telling you, go for it. Once you get this info, go for it. But make sure that you leave yourself open to take chances in different directions because you're going to be really happy with it. The Knight of Wands definitely is someone who's like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm fired up. This feels right. I'm ready to go. So the King of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, you could have been waiting for a long time for somebody to get their shit together. I'm sorry to say it like that, but it it's just what it is. And if they didn't show up that way, all the apologies in the world are not going to make a difference, especially if you've been waiting for, let's say, an increase in pay. Let's say you, you're still working at the job. It upset you because you didn't get the raise that you were expecting or you needed something more and you've put a lot of energy and effort and this person's apologies are like, no, I want you to seriously just hear the message and take that into consideration and leave your options open because something new will come to you. Now, this is the current energy that I'm seeing this message coming in, somebody approaching you. 
and it could be in the next couple of days. It doesn't have to be immediate or that it has already happened. So please keep yourself open to that. They're saying it, yes, things are worth putting the energy into and waiting for, but your patience seems to have worn a bit thin. The Four of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the devil. Okay, which makes sense. See, this is a part of you that's getting reignited. Now, did you feel maybe bound to the situation, to the person? Maybe there was some toxicity there and you recognize that now and you realize again that no apology can really replace that. If it wasn't meant to work out, discomfort has to come into play in order for us to make a change. But I feel like this is you kind of taking also your power back and saying, you know, I'm fired up about this. I want to make changes. If this isn't going to look the way that I want it to, and it's not going to benefit me the way that I want it to, I've got to make some changes, even if those changes aren't perfectly clear at this point. So the Ace of Swords in reverse, we then have the Queen of Cups. What's challenging, I think, for you is to understand how you continue. I mean, not that you don't know how to put your energy into yourself. Focusing on what's going to bring you the most joy, nurturing you and putting yourself first is important. But if you're constantly putting other people's needs ahead of your own with the Six of Pentacles we saw earlier, where you're giving, giving, giving and not having that expectation, at some point you have to put your foot down. And you've got to be very clear with the Five of Swords that was under here where he's standing there like, I've conquered this. Now I'm speaking my truth. And I want you to get this loud and clear so that you understand where I stand in the situation. So you need to, I feel like Spirit's trying to say, you need to focus more on you. All right. So we're going to get a couple of messages from the Lover's Oracle. It doesn't always pertain to love. But let's just see what comes out for you. And then I want to get some advice. It says, sexual union, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So when you connect to other people, it doesn't always have to be that it's that level. You could just know that you find bliss when you really, really connect with somebody on a deeper level. And that may be what you're needing to find. If you weren't finding it in the past in a romantic relationship, or even let's set aside the first word and just say honoring the place in you and another person who they are and how you interact that's where you find true bliss so then we have imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life there you go which I already feel like you're doing you're releasing some of that negativity Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Yeah, that can be a, a tough pill to swallow. At times we have to look at a situation and say, okay, well, this is something maybe I either do or this is a reflection of how I have acted. Something I don't like that this person is doing may also be something that I do sometimes. So just self-awareness. And then we have, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So somebody definitely does have a tremendous amount of love for you, especially if this is about a romance, a romantic relationship. Does that mean you're meant to be with them? Not necessarily. It doesn't always mean because we love people deeply that we're meant to be in partnership in this life. But no doubt, whoever this is for you has a tremendous amount of love. All right, let's get a, actually, I want to get advice. Let's see what the advice for you over the next two weeks is. This is for Libra. So we have temperance is to, okay, because it's in reverse, I'm going to say they're asking you to have patience while this happens, while things shift and change. And then the fool again. So you're getting that energy of just, not just take a leap, but see how she's falling back and trusting. That's what this card really represents is just allowing yourself to fall into the energy and trust that the right thing is going to appear for you. It's going to catch you. It's like the water is there to protect you and, and catch you as you fall. So trust that the universe has your back. And then we have the four of wands. So things are going to turn around. If you were looking for a home, 
and you wanted that or you were having difficulty in the home, things are going to shift. So they just want you to know with the advice, it's also kind of the outcome, that things are going to get better. So you're going to see happiness and joy and celebration. Give it some time. Things will definitely balance out. It does seem like there's going to be a, an amazing outcome. I, I keep wanting to repeat this. If you're looking for a home for some reason or there's anything around your home situation, it's going to work itself out no matter what. Okay, let's get the last few cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle for you. I'll do a little bit more of the shuffling. Let's see what we have. Okay, so we have the Yin Energy. This is coming out a lot for some reason in the readings. So this is balancing out your masculine and feminine. To me, that's what it's meaning today. So there's a lot of needing to balance that out within relationships, partnerships, anything that's relationship based. I feel like they're trying to say it takes two. So both people have to come to an understanding. And then we have serendipity. See, I kept saying there's something good that's going to be coming in. So this is good luck. When you trust and you have faith and you fall into this energy, something great is going to happen. Really good luck. Could be around the 18th of this month which would fall into, because today's the 8th, it would fall into the next 10 days. So your birthday could be the 1st, the 8th, the 9th of the month, or the 2nd. And then we have clean it up. So this is Spirit's way of saying we're trying to clean up something that was not so good. Cleaning out the ducks, cleaning out the house, cleaning out some kind of energy that just wasn't going well. So the 21st, you could be born on the 21st, the second, the first, or the third of the month. And then the last message is, remember I said, just kind of fall into the energy. To the sea is very much the go with the flow kind of energy, the best the way that you can. It's not the easiest thing to always go with the flow. There's going to be ups and downs and things that we have no control over. But just try to do your best is their advice. All right, my loves, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. Again, please hit that like button on your way out. And if you would like a personal reading, that information, <clears throat> excuse me, is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing 10 days and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.